Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fine company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do maximum depth of binary tree lead code problem. And if we see some of the companies where I want to get a job who have already asked this question, there are companies like LinkedIn, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Apple, Bloomberg, and Uber. So that's why I'm paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code easy problem and also very well liked problem on lead code. If we understand the problem statement, basically we are given the root of a binary tree and we need to return its maximum depth. Now we are also given the definition of what a maximum depth is. It is basically the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down towards the farthest leaf node. That is the depth of the tree. And uh, if we try to understand this with an example, suppose we are given a tree over here that looks like this. In this case, the maximum depth is going to be three. Why? Because the nodes at the root level Level is currently at position 1 or height 1 uh, the root at this level is at uh, depth 2 or height 2 and root at this level is actually at depth 3 so in this case we need to return 3 as the answer because 3 is the maximum depth we can get from this root node so let's see that what would be the different approaches to solve this problem Okay, suppose this is the input we are given and we are trying to find the maximum depth for this particular given tree. Suppose this is the root of the tree. If you want to find the maximum depth for this tree, the answer is going to be 4 because of these two nodes. Uh, we can see it clearly over here that over here the value is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and this is 4 and this is the answer we need to return. The question is, before we return this answer, we will actually have to build some intuition behind it. And the intuition is, suppose at this position number 5, if we want to determine that what is the maximum depth over here, well, what we can do is we will check on the left side, we will check on the right side. And whatever has the greater number of nodes uh, on either side, we will actually take that as maximum depth and we will do it uh, plus 1. Well, in this case, the 6 and 7, both are located at the same position, 6 and 7, none of them has any children, which means that over here, we can determine that this is actually one and this is also one so on the left side and on the right side both values are actually one so what we can do is we can do one plus one so one plus one will give us the answer that the maximum depth has at position number five is going to be two so in this case okay we have found the maximum depth over depth over here to be two well if we take this value number four well at this value number four it does not have any more children if it does not have any more children which means we can determine the maximum depth in this case is going to be one well, now we have these two values that now based on these two values, it becomes pretty easy for us to identify that what is the maximum depth at this position number two. All we will have to do is we will take whatever the maximum value amongst these two is maximum value is actually two. So what we can do is we can do two plus one and two plus one is actually going to be three. So we can determine that three is going to be the maximum depth we can achieve at this node number two if this was to be the root of the given tree and for this position number three the maximum depth we can achieve is only one because it does not have any more children uh, so that is a given fact now we have these two information now it becomes pretty easy for us to identify that what is going to be the maximum depth at this position number one and uh, we all we will have to do is take the maximum amongst these two values so maximum value is going to be three and all we need to do is just plus one so if we do three plus one we will get the answer four and four would be the correct answer in this case and that is what we are going to return so the maximum depth we need to find we can simply do it by using this method well uh, now if you see for this particular solution we are actually able to achieve this solution uh, but what we are doing is that at any given position we are seeing that what is the left max value or right max value and whichever is greater amongst e either one of them we are taking that and we are adding one well, now again uh, we are repeating the same process that we are taking the left max and right max value and uh, we, again we are adding one so which means that in order to solve a bigger problem we are actually so uh, solving a smaller problem and then again a uh, smaller problem so basically we are doing recurs we are doing it recursively and that is how we are going to solve this problem using recursion which is very powerful and it is highly used in different kinds of tree tree problems so that is how we are going to solve this problem and this would be the optimal solution we can use uh, if we see the time and space complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big o of n because we will have to iterate over every single element in order to get the answer and if we see the space complexity in this case the space complexity is also going to be big o of n because we might have to store all the values inside our recursive function and uh, this approach is actually very good it works as expected there is also one more approach which uses stacks and that does not use recursion it actually use uh, iterative function so let me know in the comments if you want to see the stack solution as well and i can also explain that but for now if you show this recursive solution in, in any interview the interviewer would be more than happy uh, so let's move on to coding now
so first of all we are going to take care of our edge case if that is not the case we will have to call our recursive function so first of all we are going to have an integer called left max that is going to take care of the left subtree for any given root position and we are going to call our recursive function again and same we are going to do for the right subtree as well we are going to create a parameter called right uh, max and in either case all we have to do is simply return whatever the maximum value we, we are able to find and then we will add one to it and this should be it uh, once we get out of the loop our solution would be done so let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working let's submit this code and our code runs as expected and it's actually pretty fast compared to a lot of other solutions. So I would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there. Thank you.